everybody, I'm Nettie Kay. Welcome back to my studio. You know, this whole entire last year, uh, we have had a collective mindset of trying to be safe, haven't we? Yeah. And so uh, that's a good idea because, you know, things aren't getting better very fast, are they? No, they're not. And so unfortunately what happens is it also affects our artwork as well and other areas of our lives, our relationships. Maybe we're not taking quite the risks in our relationships as we did before. But our artwork especially uh, becomes this thing of, of trying to remain safe. Now what do I mean by that? Well, for instance, in my gallery in uh, Pasadena many, many, many years ago, I had some uh, volunteer painters that painted well, but were so safe that the paintings themselves were quite uh, boring and there wasn't anything that would motivate a buyer to purchase them. And so um, uh, what I had to kind of push is to say, well, what makes something interesting, okay? And we need to think about uh, kind of branching out a little bit and doing something a little bit uh, unique, even if it's not really where our comfort level is. So I, I'm thinking about Halloween, you guys. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Halloween, but when I was a little girl, the purpose of Halloween for me was to get out of this little conservative, plain Jane little girl and to test out the waters of what it looks like when you can wear makeup. All right, just saying. So, um, you know, I'm going to show you what that might look like. In our own art uh, and in our lives, sometimes, pardon me, um, we can add a little color, okay? We add a little color, and you see I really get into the color. I got the big glasses. I usually have some crazy, you know, long dangly earrings. I just put those on. And um, today I'm going to go one, uh, one further for you. So I'm going to have a little bit of fun and just show you what happens when you get out of your, out of your realm. And this is just part of what's happening at Halloween. So as a, as a little girl, pardon me for stripping, uh, as a little girl, I was, um, you know, really, really plain, okay? I had freckles. I was super plain. I had red hair. Um, you know, you'd think that would be interesting, but it's just you feel so plain. Uh, there's no, uh, no eyelashes, no eyebrows, whatever. So at Halloween, I was allowed to wear makeup, and I always chose to be a gypsy. And so... The reason I did that was so that I could add some color into my world. I didn't have a lot of, I didn't have a lot of uh, clothes. I wore boys' clothes because, well, not when I was really little. We wore just whatever our grandmother made for us. But we didn't have a lot of options because we were extremely poor. Okay, and so uh, I'm going to do something really nuts and just show you what happens. Can you tell already that my demeanor has changed? So try, I want you to try some different things. And if it means putting on a different outfit just to change the way you feel about yourself, well, wouldn't that be fun? So I'm going to do this. This is a little bit nuts, I know. Well, you know I always wear a scarf on my head most of the time. Um, and I, I love that. It's not like I'm trying to cover up my red hair. I, I don't mind that so much. But I'm going to show you something that's just going to blow your mind. Hold on just a second. Okay, let's try this. All right, well, I know this is really, really wacky, and it's not something that I'm going to be doing all the time. I'm not going to wear this to the grocery store. Number one, my poor little son, my son who's 23, can't see very well, and he said, Mom, I would never even be able to find you in the store if you didn't have red hair. But you see how, how all of a sudden you can just change a few things uh, on yourself, but you can also change a few things in how you think about things on the canvas. And so I'm going to show you one more thing about thinking outside of the box. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm trying to get at here is that once you have accomplished being able to do a, a basic landscape and you've practiced and practiced and you've got that paint down and you know how it works or you've uh, mastered some still life you got to get your shapes down you know all that uh, or you're doing portraits and you've mastered how to draw the head and how to paint a portrait whatever 
uh, it may be time to step out of the box. And you know what? I do that sometimes by putting a colorful scarf on my head, by putting on some uh, interesting music, uh, by looking at other people's art on either YouTube, in books, or online on Instagram. And, uh, and then I come up with my own thing. And see if you can come up with your own thing. I'm going to show you a piece behind me here in just a second of where I really, really stepped out of the box. A bit like this. Okay. Now this piece is a, uh, I think it's about a, a 24 by 36 with a really super deep uh, 3 inch side panel on the side um, on stretched canvas and what I started out with is I started out with a an acrylic underpainting I created all kinds of textures there's about five layers of texture on this thing and then um, I created a three-dimensional sunflower from a photograph of one of the sunflowers in my yard all right so how in the world did I do that? Well, um, I created the material here by taking a big roll of canvas and pouring paint on it and then cutting out the shapes and adhering them to the canvas. And at some point I'll show you a little example of that so that you can see. This is called canvas collage. It's a term I've made up. I don't know if anybody else has ever used that before. But this is a, a brand new uh, thing and I've got some other little pieces down here at the bottom that you can't see and so hopefully you can see that you can see I've got and it's I'm just finishing it up it's really cool this is this has got some texture in it that I, I used that plastic wrap onto canvas and created the texture in acrylic and then over the top of this believe it or not there's a glaze of oil on a few spots there's a glaze of oil here and a glaze of oil over the top of this not on here, but on here. So it's kind of a mixed media piece. And I wanted to share that with you today. So, you know, be bold. Be safe in your in your houses right now. But, you know, you've got, you're going to have a little bit of time this winter, I think you are. Uh, so you need to, uh, you know, remain physically safe. But in your art, get the big bright colors out and see if you can do something different. Okay? So... Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Who knows what I'll be up to then. And uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. Thanks for letting me be a little silly today. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.